Uh, we'll start today's activities with the continuation, the second part of the uh, seminar that our friends from Harvest have prepared. So uh, I just uh, give you the floor. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Uh, my head, maybe you can do an application for news gathering locally, uh, more globally, or huh? so you know, and, and your iPhone or any any phone has uh, GPS, GPS. So maybe you can just draw a map of. You know, of Barcelona, and it says, "Hey, you're you're here in Barcelona, and that's all the news you can get, gather from Barcelona. Maybe that's it, and that you find you can find it really interesting. But yeah, you're more into Spanish news, right? So with pinching, you can pinch on on your on your uh, on your iPhone, so you can zoom out to maybe the, the whole of Spain, and you can feed all kinds of." interesting breaking news from Spain and in another aspect you, you can draw the world and say well, this is the global news you have and if you want to click on, on, on a specific country you can zoom in and you have news about a specific country that's an idea of using location based services for news gathering Ta -da! Uh, we wanted the students to think um, more deeply about applications that they use every day, but in context with their journalism work. And uh, I think that uh, the last exercise we saw was very interesting because students have a hobby or some interests. Uh, the girl could have, uh, who presented could have made a fashion application, but she made a news application and then added a layer to it. And that was very interesting to see. You don't have to be a designer or uh, a graphic designer to make this, these applications. Uh, everyone can be creative. That, that was the aim of, of this uh, exercise.